you have to remember that these ships, when they were built, they weren't built for an integrated crew. They, these ships were built for men. I wanted to be a part of something. Well, to me, it's, to me, I'm happy that they made the change because uh, women can serve just as well as men and sometimes better than. You know, it just goes to show how, how far we've come, you know, from 25 years to now me being here and excelling and succeeding. So there's a lot of people before me that fought so that women can be on the ship. There's fighting for us to have the same equality as men. So yes, I have to stand up and I have to do the right thing and I have to lead by example and I have to be an example for our junior female sailors. Definitely makes me feel good and know that, hey, you know, senior leadership, they're doing it. You know, it's a um, chief warrant officer that's a female and she's killing it. You know, there's a master chief that's a female and she's killing it. So just to see an example of what I can be in my career is just empowering me, so. It's still not where I think it could be. It's still not quite where I think it needs to be. I um, feel like there needs to be more women representing in the SEAL. I know a lot of people think it's so impossible, but no, it's not. You know, 25 years ago, they thought it was impossible for us to even be on a ship like this, and we made it happen. I love talking to the junior women who know no other way. You know, they've They've only known an integrated Navy. And their male counterparts, the same thing. They've only known a Navy where we work together. And it, it's normal. It's normal for us all to be shipmates. <laughs>